This is the 15th season. Will there be a 16th season? Yes, of course. Yes? Yes. 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 That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. I was wondering if you, I, I thought that there was a possibility well, that it wasn't. Well, my contract is till season 16. Mm hmm. And um, so I'm completely obligated to do season 16. And you know, these numbers, there's just no end in sight with streaming and the show is so popular. Yeah. And I have to say, again, I love coming here. Thank you for giving me this platform because not only do we get to do great things, but we get to say thank you because everywhere I go, whether it's Italy, whether it's France, London, Kansas, the people that come up to me with tears in their eyes and tell me how meaningful the show is to them. You know, the episode, the last episode that I directed, um, was the first episode I directed, actually. Um, it was a, a teenager was in the show, and he was gay, and he played a gay character on my show. And after we had filmed the whole entire episode, he said to me, you know, my whole life, I've watched the show with my parents. And I've sort of used the show as a way to tell my parents that I was gay. And to show my parents that it's okay, that I'm not different, there's nothing wrong with me. And Grays really helped my parents to understand what having a gay son meant and that it wasn't necessarily a bad thing. And for my parents to now see me as an actor getting a part on this show, you know, has just been everything. So um, I got to keep doing it, man, because, you know, we're touching lives and yeah. making a difference. So. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you are. You are. It's fantastic. So tonight is the season premiere. Yes, the third season premiere. And, and it, <laughs> And it's, it's moving to a, a new night, which yes, is... Yes, Thursday's at, at 9. Yeah, yeah, so that's... Are you happy about that? I don't know. So many people ask us, like, are you happy about the change? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I hope it does well. I hope people come and watch it on Thursday. I, I hope yeah, you guys I think do. They will. <laughs> I generally like Thursdays of the day, you know, yeah. so it should be okay. Thursday's a good day. It's, it's a good I think day. it's a good, good day. day. Um, and so the only thing that I want to ask is the, the you get caught in red la lingerie. Uh, oh my so God. <laughs> you know, it's like when you get those scripts and you go, oh, and then she's in her lingerie, I just go, are you kidding me? Yeah. I gotta get in lingerie and like, oh. And then they use it as like the teaser to the show. Right. <laughs> And you yeah. have no idea that's going to happen. And... Yeah, that's why I don't wear the red lingerie anymore, because <laughs> I know they're going to use it for a teaser, so I won't do it. Last week, you made headlines around the world when you returned to Grey's Anatomy five years after you were killed off. How did that come about? Wow. I mean, we got together. Ellen, I reached out to Ellen, and Ellen and I got together in July, and we were like, what can we do to, to get people to wear masks? You know, how can we make an impact here? And we just, you know, we hadn't spoken in quite some time, so we were playing catch. And she goes, what do you think about coming back onto the show? Here's our idea of what we would want to do for season 17. And I was like, what a great opportunity for people and how great it would be for the fans, really, to, to see everybody reunited in this sort of bizarre way. Um, and uh, to the credit of the writers, and uh, Krista came up with this concept uh, where I would come and visit her in her COVID dream. Wow, that's such a great, yeah. I mean, that had to be hard to keep a secret. I know that, you, like, so few people knew about this, right? Yeah, nobody knew about it other than uh, ABC, of course, some people at ABC, uh, Krista, and then Alan and myself, and that was it. And then we t started talking to the directors, which would be Debbie Allen, who's amazing, and Kevin McKidd, who is one of the directors that I worked with. And that was it. And no one knew until I showed up on set that day. And then we were really concerned that someone would take a picture and it would get out somehow. But we managed to keep it a secret, which was pretty phenomenal. Yeah, that and then is... the impact of the, the response has been incredibly overwhelming and very moving. Yes, yes. You made everyone cry five years ago when you died, and then you made people cry again when you returned. <laughs> yes, in a, an unexpected way. But it was nice to be able to have it work out this way. You know, it's really... I mean, there are so many souls that we have lost right now. The thought of having angels around us is very comforting, certainly to me. It's my God. It's got to be one of the longest running shows now ever. 18th season. Very, very cool. <laughs> yeah. You know what's a trip, Chandra? Is I 
18 seasons, and I know a lot of young teenagers that watch it now, too. Yeah. It's fascinating now that it's been able to be streamed. It's like this whole new audience gets We're to fall in love with it, right? That's what we are. No, no but, but it is. It's like the, the show. You know, kids found us, and then so they start watching, and then the parents hop back in and go, oh, are you at the park? Oh, okay, wait till you get to that part. Oh, oh, don't get too attached. You know, like that. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, they all, like, start cycling together. So I thank you guys so much for that. That's awesome. You know, <laughs> the, the episode that airs tonight yes. will be the 22nd one you've directed. Yes, it will be. Wow. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe this when I, when I heard about this, that you actually had a night job your first season of Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were double dip. Tell me about that. D well, I mean, um, as, a, as a, you know, an actor, a working actor out there in, um, in New York, you used to having your bread and butter. My bread and butter was my... Um, uh, jo job in the document processing department at Bankers Trust at the time before it became um, Deutsche Bank. It was long-term temp, and it was perfect because it was overnight, and it, you know, I could still audition and work during the yeah. day and, you know, make the high-end money because I was an operator back in the day. You know, <laughs> I knew how to do Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Okay. okay. That's a real job. I know. The babies come out knowing how to do that now, but back <laughs> then... Right. That was the, you know... Um, but that's great because you had guarded optimism because this business is so fickle. You never know, I right? Had you didn't know it was going to be 18 said, seasons. Don't ever put all your eggs in one basket, especially when they call you out here to L.A. because the jobs don't last. That's and I right. had gone through a series before that we only got like six or seven episodes on before we yeah. were canceled. So I, it was in season two when I came back to do it. And what, as a long-term temp, you just check in, like, you know, to, to check in for your availability. Right. And so all season one, I just kept checking in, saying, oh, I'm not available this weekend. I'm not available this weekend. So when we got to season two, my supervisor said, will you stop calling and telling us that yeah. you're not available? Because we see you on TV. Yeah. So why are you telling us I love that, that you're not available? So basically, they had to kind of force me out. So you joined the show, Grey's Anatomy. Were you yes. a fan before you went on? Uh, I was a huge fan. And, and huge you went fan. on for one guest appearance. No, it was, it was eight episodes. It was the eight. last eight episodes of season two. Oh, I didn't know that. And, um, and then after that, they asked me back full time this year. Oh, so. I, 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 I thought it was one, and then they, they added that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. great. It, it's it's. I am so incredibly blessed. I am so grateful. George, you, you your boyfriend in the show, yes. or maybe maybe not, but uh, who plays T.R. Knight had uh, came out because of this. And was that is that good or is that? I mean, how is he dealing with that? How are y'all dealing with that? Look, I think, uh, I, th I really respect him and admire him, and I think it was an incredibly courageous thing to do in a very, very classy way. And I think it's just a sign of the times, and I think it's, it's wonderful. He put it in such a classy way that he hopes it's not the most interesting thing about him. And, you know, um, some of us knew about this beforehand, and, uh, you know, we, we loved him and supported him before, and we mm -hmm. love him and support him after. There's really no difference yes. or change to make. Yes. You know, he's an amazing actor. He's yeah. an incredible performer and an artist. Yeah. And uh, that, to me, is more interesting than anything else and a very, very generous human being. Yeah, he, he's adorable. He's yeah. great. I mean, yeah. I, th I think everybody on there, it's a great it's cast. It's an incredible, and it's, brilliant And it's smart writing. And, the uh, Shonda Rhimes. I mean, it, it's, it's just the whole thing is, is really great yeah. quality. So. Good. Well, I, I love watching helpful. it. Everybody else is doing very well. So yeah. thanks for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. What, what's ha happening on Grace? You've only kissed one uh, person so far. I have. Is there going to be more of that? I then, don't know. Then more of that. <clears throat> um, I don't know. I'm not, I honestly don't know. Um, she's great. Um, <laughs> but I think, you know, eventually something like that is going to happen. It's Grey's Anatomy. But I really have no idea. Um, but they will be in for a surprise if they think they're getting that. that may, I told them maybe give me a month or two notice so I can run a couple laps, run around Park La Brea. Why, you don't trapped. look like that anymore? No, I think I'd be like Mick Gut. If no, I, no. Uh, if, uh, if they, uh, if no. They well, and speaking of that, everybody has. There's McDreamy, McSteamy, and yes. and you don't have a nickname yet, right? You're right, okay. right. I've been trying to resist. Uh, get well, a lot of crap on set. They're, they're constantly trying to come up with names. I've given you one. Have you? And and not only oh, have I given you stick. one, it is going to stick okay. because you're going to wear this on the show. <laughs> and it is. What do we have? Mick, just really, really, really hot. Oh. Thank you. Thank right? you. That's, um, that. It's catchier than most. Yeah, I know. That's terrific. It rolls off the tongue. Yeah.